If it ain't Sheriff Morgan. <sighs> Okay, Mr. Morgan. I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Yeah, good. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yes, yes. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? we only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. 
There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Work. Uh. Ah! Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, d I don't, I don't want to get shot. But this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. The boxes at the back, Arthur. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! I think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Oh, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens.
Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers. Behind you, Charles. More on the right here. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone up to security. We got more of the bastards on this side. This felt really don't like getting robbed. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. One. Nicely done, dude. They teach you that move in the army too? Can't you keep your back beat still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this! There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here! Ah! Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm actually refired. They're coming in from the front. Shit. Fire. We got more on this side. Almost got me. What have we now, you son of a bitch? Out of the way, Bill. Stop robbing Cornwall for a while. I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right. Let me get in there. We don't get out of here. Shoot. Charcoal. Coming this way. 
perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. You see anything? Not yet. We should go give him a hand. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Okay then, girl. Yeah. Just calm down. Yeah.
This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Idiot. Hang out by me! Them greys are on the hunt! <laughs> oh! Another damn grey in disguise! family business coming through you're good You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... 
Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and we fetch now. the Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. But I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, easy there. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get down! Come on, boys. Come on, Come on. Talk to Sir. Go home! Go. Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Well, man! Oh, my God! Go shit! 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 Go sh
all this trouble. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. And free, just as the founding fathers intended. Well, yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. Sir? What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, Cousin darling right? cousin. Did Don't you ever this? speak to me like that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got sir. anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always will. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Or what? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all I'm sorry, friend, <laughs> but let the women speak. Oh, your silly cousin, he meant no harm. <laughs> Look at him. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me, I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Hold on. 
A minute or Whoa, your time. Whoa, easy. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Round here, strangers got to cough up payment. Get down from there. You hear me? <laughs> they wanted to. But wait, stay away from me. Oh. But, but I got a tip. Uh, That's yeah. exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, oh, it's a goodie, oh. I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Well, you girls actually appear to be working. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you.
right there. They're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Good morning, Arthur. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. You ain't gonna turn us in, are you? <laughs> like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. All right, well, I should be getting on. See ya, Arthur. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Thank you, Arthur. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Morning, Arthur. Hello. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that? Maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. This way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all... Who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, 
They judge different. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Well, we're going close, but you'll need a mount. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. And don't we want to stay a little closer to him? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Oh, you see anything? Yes. Yes. There you are. Almost a militia. Down by the road, we'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. 
Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Just give the word. You gonna make a call? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Waiting on you. I know, but I still ain't found nothing. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep.
Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. Fall in. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay. Keep a cool head. What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these line back! anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have some... in a show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. Against my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. I want to sit on those rifles too long. Sure thing. You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. Yep.
What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Miss Rachel got set upon outside the saloon. Poor thing's face off. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Were you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. 
Okay, thanks.
Don't you? Oh. Well, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Oi! Uh, 
Ah, you good, girl? Off her. You brought your damn self to ruin. Uh. I'm taking a liking to killing you, boy. Troubles. You arrange a bath, I need a wash. Magnificent. You'll feel renewed in no time. Laugh at that joke hey, move it! Good. Good choice. Good choice. If it gets cold on you, holler. Let me know if it's too warm. <sighs> Life can always be worse. That's for certain. Some parts of me probably ain't been this clean in months. Oh, well, that's something. So, how's it going with you? Oh, you know, not much to fuss about. What do you do in your free time? I've been known to put away a drink or two in my spare time. <sighs> this is the first time I've been able to relax in ages. Oh, ain't that the worst? You seem like a clever girl. How kind of you, sir. Attention. All right, I think that should do it. Hope to see you again. Hey, folks. Hi there. How do you do, sir?
Having fun, mister? You be careful there, partner. You seem a little no. tipsy. <laughs> what are you in the market for? Just give me a drink, quick. You're sure to have a splendid time here at our little oasis. There's a new gang roaming the countryside. I hear they're run by a man with a particular... Don't reckon I've seen you in here before. You new to town? Well, roads ain't what it used to be. Not for some time now. Ain't sure if you heard of the Gray family already. They own this damn saloon. They own the damn law. Hell, they own pretty much most of this town now. You're right. And it ain't the better for it, in my opinion. But a drink's a drink. Right, my friend? shoot each other. Damn waste of life, if you ask me. We're nothing to be good enough here. Out of the way! Well, that don't surprise me, you none. Know. Not good at all. Sorry. Thank you. Really. Hello, mister. How do you do? Somebody's had a few. <laughs> Don't reckon you're gonna remember much of this. So that's something at least. Look out! I lost it. I mean, I lost it. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> Hey, I'm really right. funny I'm it is. <laughs> Hello, sir. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope, but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. <sighs> Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really? Best mates? He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Hey, be easy now. This is really worrying me.
Hey, mister, that's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson's. Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. I'm surprised I won, honestly. Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. <sighs> Good race. I wish things was different, but hey, be safe out there. <laughs> Hey there, girl. <laughs> Slow up now. Come on, girl. Yeah. Yeah. 
been covered in worse, friend. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, the you days? okay? You look like shit. That's just cruel. You all right, girl? My friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Good thing everyone isn't as bone either. Let's go. Hey, partner. Mister? Well, let's try that again, fella. Hello. Huh? Hello, again, I guess. Hello. Looking for a trim? They're saying a goat was born in the next town. So what'll it be today? It sounds like the... and clean.
That's, uh, looks pretty good. Looking sharper than a tack. Please, tell your friend. Thanks for your assistance. Ladies, Monsieur, Monsieur, oh, out of say. the way. Hello, come on in. Now, what's going on in here? Well, you won't know for sure until you try it on. People around here come in just for those. That is a local favorite. So, what do you think? Wearing it out?
Your hat says a lot about you. Make sure it says the right thing. Every hat style you could want. All of a quality that commands respect. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. And there we go. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Thank you. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. People around here come in just for those. That is a local favorite. Okay, how about you try it on in this side? People around here come in just for those. Much appreciated. Now, what is your preferred color for this? You're going to love the way you look in those. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Are you looking for something to go with what you just bought?
Now be sure to check the cabin. Thanks, partner. Move! Look, I'm not being unreasonable. We're better than this. We cannot replace perfectly good China set because of one chip. On the oyster plate. Come, my love. How can we not serve oysters? The mayor is coming. No, that Give me the bag. Here, here, here's the gun. No, no. I hate it. I hate it. Stay back. Get away from her. Hey, you. No, no, no. My chérie. Oh, Mister. That's terrible. The savages are giving businesses a terrible time up north. Can I buy a ticket, please? Everyone, I am your host, yep, yep. Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly, the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. Did you do that? Yeah. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. <laughs> Y'all see this? and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure Bring you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none 
are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this DD Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalikova off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. Sweet What's Jesus. Going on here? Oh my god. This is a hell of a shot. It always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Oh, wow. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. This You're is pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, yeah! and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Bring Is it! no one man enough? All right, let's go. Fantastic. Yeah! Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take a. Oh, we got a fight. It's too much. It's incredible. And fire. Just an illusion, after all. <laughs> yes! Yes! No. Truly! A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> On with the now, show! I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they it. do not wear clothes. She breathes fire! Yes, she does! And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
She sure is hot! Incredible, bravo, though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. This is yes. off. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my this honey, is the best but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. He connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello. Blackwater calling. 
hello. This morning through the phone, they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby mine. Then some more tune. She is a siren singing Woo! from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I you hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night. Dream well. Mate. And come back soon. Howdy, fellers. Watch yourself. Tom, can I get another bloody drink over here? Where is Tom? It's too bad. It really is. Can somebody horsewhip him for me, please? The love of all that is holy. Yeah, okay. All right. You ever play this before, Brent? I don't believe this. Another train robbery. Right. Excuse me. No death this time, I hear. Thank you for your help. Hey, move it! Are you ready? your pleasure. Je vous salue. Yes, sir. Been tight around here. The minute I take the uniform off and walk a few blocks from the job, they stop acting. Morning, dear. Hello, you. <laughs> you should look out. Been some trouble around here. Well. 
You stay safe, all right? See you soon.